सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्सट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नंबर फोर फिजिकल फिटनेस पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन फोर पॉइंट फाइव एक्टिविटीज फॉर डिवेलपिंग फिजिकल फिटनेस द टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज दैट मे बी यूजफुल टू डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फिटनेस आर एरोबिक एंड एनरोबिक दीज आर एज फॉलो ए aerobic activity aerobic exercise any physical activity that requires increased oxygen is an aerobic exercise aerobic activity or exercise is therefore the same as cardiovascular exercise as it increases cardiac capacity strengthens the heart and lungs aerobic fitness is the capacity of an individual to sustain exercise for a prolonged period of time for example jogging for more than 15 minutes cycling and calisthenics etc page number 42 figure 4.1 shows vertical jump test to measure power in this figure we have three images in the first image we can see a person standing against a pole with his right hand stretched up in the second image he is readying himself to take the vertical jump In the third image we can see he is up from the ground and trying to measure power activity 4.3 vertical jump test to measure power stand facing a wall and reach up with your hand closest to the wall keep your feet flat on the ground and mark the point of the fingertips that may be recorded this is called the standing reach height as shown in figure 4.1 Stand away from the wall and leap vertically as high as possible using both arms and legs to assist in projecting the body upwards. Attempt to touch the wall at the highest point of the jump. Find your score. The difference in distance between the standing reach height and the jump height is the score. Do it 3 times. The best of 3 attempts is your final score. Aerobic activity is develop the cardio respiratory endurance of an individual. The different types of aerobic activities are aerobic dance, skipping, walking, long distance running, swimming, etc. B. Anaerobic activity. The term anaerobic means without oxygen. Anaerobic exercise is a high intensity activity for a short period of time. It relies on energy sources that are stored in the muscles of individuals. Page number 43. activity 4.4 case the football coach assesses the fitness of players of his team by making each of them run five lengths of the football field one length of the field is 144 meter he then makes a chart with the following parameters to assess the speed of each of his players average speed is equal to distance by time we have a chart here it has four columns the first column reads players The second column reads time in seconds to cover five lengths of the field. The next column reads distance in meters and finally the fourth column reads average speed is equal to distance by time. Now, player number 1. Time in seconds to cover five lengths of the field is 5 minute 20 second. That is 60 second into 5 plus 20 is equal to 320 second. His distance in meters is 144 multiplied by 5 is equal to 720 meter average speed of this player player number 1 is 720 divided by 320 is equal to 2.25 meter per second player 2 time in seconds to cover five lengths of the field 4 minute 10 second distance in meters 720 player 3 time in seconds to cover five lengths of the field 6 minute 10 second distance in meters 720 meter player number 4 time taken in seconds to cover five lengths of the field 6 minute 10 second distance in meters is same 720 work out the average speed of players 2 3 and 4 speed of player 1 is already calculated for you you and your friends may try to find out your speed in the same way by running known lengths of an open field in your neighborhood repeat the activity for 7 days and work out your average speed before starting this activity measure one length of the field anaerobic exercise develops stronger muscles 
With vigorous workouts, there is temporary shortage of oxygen being delivered to the working muscles, for example, sprinting or bodybuilding. However, the early stage of all exercise is anaerobic. This kind of activity is responsible for developing speed. This form of activity benefits the bones, that is, their thickness increases. The different types of anaerobic activities are weightlifting, sprint races, jumping, mountain climbing, rafting, etc. C. All team games and individual sports. All major games and individual sports require a certain level of fitness components like strength, speed, agility, flexibility, and endurance for successful participation. 4.5.1 Warming up and cooling down. Warming up is usually performed before participating in any games and sports and physical activities. It is important to keep oneself free from injury and pain to avoid fatigue. While warming up prepares your body for intense exercise, whereas cooling down helps bring it back to near normal after rigorous activity. Page number 44 Warming up Muscle stiffness is thought to be directly related to muscle injury and therefore the warming up should be aimed at reducing muscle stiffness. Warming up should consist of a gradual increase in physical activity for individuals for increasing joint mobility, stretching and various ways of sports related activities. One should warm up approximate 8 to 12 minutes or per specific requirements which include running, stretching of wrists, elbows, shoulders, neck, trunk, hip, knees, ankle joints. Cooling down. Once you are through with the workout and you reach the end of the game, it is equally important to ensure that the body cools down. Cooling down should ideally consist of 5 to 10 minute walk or light jog as it cools down the body temperature and relaxes the muscles. About 10 minutes of static stretching exercises that include chest stretch, biceps stretch, hamstring stretch, calf stretch, hip and thigh stretch, front of trunk stretch and quadriceps stretch. Each stretch should not take more than 10 to 30 seconds. Intensity and duration of warming up and cooling down should vary according to the nature of workout or game. The more rigorous the workout or game, the more rigorous should be the warm up and cool down. Box 4.3 The box reads, Aim of warm up is to prepare a mentally and physically fit student. Benefits warming up and cooling down Warming up Warming up is a low-intensity dynamic exercise and static stretch performed to gradually prepare the body for further exercises and to prevent damage to skeletal muscles, commutative tissue and heart. Cooling down Cool down exercise used to prevent rapid drop in arterial blood pressure. After completion of vigorous exercise, the person should move for a few minutes until his or her breathing come down to near normal. Now, you can see two images on the page depicting how we start to warm up. In the first image, we can see a boy with legs apart with his hands close to his thighs. In the second image, we can see his hands are bent at the elbow and his head is tilting towards the left side. Head tilt, side to side. Page number 45. Assessment. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. What is meant by physical fitness? Question number 2. What are the major components of physical fitness? Question number 3. What is the difference between speed and strength? Question number 4. Why well-being cannot be achieved without physical fitness? A. Dash. B. Dash. Fill in the blank. Question number 5. What happens if an individual ignores warming up and cooling down for the workout? Fill in the blanks. 1. Ability to exert maximum force of contraction in minimum possible time. Fill in the blank. Dash. 2. Greatest amount of force a muscle 
or muscle group can exert in a single effort. Dash. 3. Performance of repeated movements with the submaximal force for an extended period of time. Dash. Tick mark either yes or no. Number 1. Health and physical fitness are synonymous. Number 2. A physically fit person can carry out physical tasks for longer duration without fatigue. Number 3. Body composition is a health-related physical fitness component. Number 4. Agility and coordination are skills related to physical fitness components. Number 5. Vertical jump helps to measure flexibility. Now time to do some activity. Activity 4.5. Number 1. List the activities which are generally done by you and your peers for physical fitness. Aerobic Dash Anaerobic Dash 2. Write how often do you engage yourself in the above mentioned activities and their effect on your total health. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yadav Technical Coordinator Buddy Langlingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India